Morning everyone. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial um, for those that didn't quite understand how to put this cardboard background or you could do any background into uh, my pre-made templates. If you don't know about the pre-made templates, they are in my Etsy store, JE Photography Design. And this is the most popular one. It's bestseller. Uh, it's the nine box. There's lots of other great things in there too if you want to take a look around. Anyways, sorry. Back to this. So all I did was I googled cardboard background or cardboard texture actually. I just put it into um, my Google cardboard texture, found one that I liked, like this one. It's just a picture and you could take your own picture if you wanted um, and just bring it in. So I have this cardboard here and I'm just going to, I opened it up in my Photoshop, so I just used my marquee tool to draw around it. And I'm going to go to my move tool, and it still has the dancing ants. So I'm just going to click anywhere in the cardboard area. You see there's the little scissors there. And I'm still holding my left button. I'm dragging it, and this little white, if you look up here where it says the 9 box 20, it's highlighted or it turned white now. I'm just going to bring my move tool still holding onto the button and I'm just going to drop it in the middle of my template. Now depending on where I was last using my template it will um, come in either you know underneath the grid on top of the grid maybe down in the images so you just have to find it and move it to where you need it. So what I want to do is I want it to be, sorry, I want it to be over the grids where it was. And I'm going to resize this so this one maybe isn't the greatest because, because of the size of um, the image itself. It's going to be a little bit skewed. Oops. I'm going to show you another way I also do things. Oh, my computer's so slow. Drives me insane. It's like, it's Friday. It's, it's well, Today is Friday. I'm doing the video. It's saying, it's Friday. We don't want to work anymore today. Okay, so as you can see, I've stretched it out. It doesn't look uh, the greatest, but for this, it'll work. It's just for the background. So, you can do it that way, which is open it as a separate... Um, file up here, do what I did, the dancing ants, or you could always go to file, place embedded, and then in my computers I've got stuff all over the place, but you're just going to find it wherever you have, wherever you saved it, whether it be to your desktop or to a specific folder, you're going to place embedded, and what it's going to do is it's just going to place it right on your template file, like right in here. It's just going to place it as an image. And then you can resize it and continue on with these steps that I'm going to do right now. So whichever way is easier for you. So now I have my cardboard. What I want to do is I want to right click over here, not on the picture itself. I'm, I'm clicking over to the side and I want to create a clipping mask. So what that's going to do is it's going to clip it to the white border that I have. Now I also need to duplicate this layer because I need it to be on my inner grid. So I'm just going to drag my copy so it's over top of the inner grid. Now it looks like that. So I want to right click, create a clipping mask. It's going to attach it to that. So now I have my cardboard attached to my borders or my grids or whatever you want to call it. Um, so you can enter your pictures, you can do whatever you need to do from here. This works for any type of background, any, any texture, anything that you have. If you wanted to put in a different kind of paper, you can easily do that. You can, if you also wanted to save yourself a step, you can merge your inner grid and outer grid. So I'm going to highlight both of them. Just I inner grid first. I hold control or I think it's command with a Mac. And then click on the outer grid. And then you can 
Oh, sorry. This doesn't want... Oh, because I had things... Usually you can merge them. Right now it doesn't want me to do that. But anyways, I digress. So, um, that's how you add the cardboard background. So if you wanted to use this template for your cardboards, however, unless you have a perfectly square cardboard box, the template may not work. If you want to use a template um, and don't have one available or aren't sure how to make them, let me know. I can custom make one for you with your box sizes, but you can also make those cardboard box designs with no template at all, which I have another tutorial on that. So anyways, hopefully this helps some of you um, and uh, have fun with your box images, cardboard, white box, whatever it may be. Um, busy season coming up with fall and Christmas. Uh, so hopefully you guys get some good, uh, um, good, what's the word I'm looking for? Get lots of um, people booking. <laughs> that's what, good advertising out there. Um, and uh, continue to share the group for anyone that's looking, especially those people that are just posting about cardboard boxes and you know, wondering how to learn, please feel free to share our group information um, or even share the YouTube tutorial link for anyone that's that w wants to learn. Anyways, I'm going to sign off now. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Bye.